When's the last time you checked your blood pressure? Many people overlook the value of this test because they don't understand how important it is. We're about to show you what high blood pressure can mean for your heart and why you should have yours checked more often. It's painless, and in many places, it's free. So why do so many people pass right on by, turning down the chance to have a free blood pressure check? I haven't really noticed any symptoms. That's one reason right there. People just can't feel high blood pressure, so they don't think about checking it, even though they might have heard about the dangers. I think it says it's known as a silent killer. Another reason people don't check their blood pressure? Confusion. 130 over 80. Confusion over those numbers. 125 over 75. And it's a diastolic and a systolic, and I always forget which one is which. While many of us hear what high blood pressure can do, it leads to higher instances of heart attacks, strokes, kidney failure, and heart failure. Cardiologist John Chin says most people aren't too aware of what blood pressure actually is, how it functions inside the body. Uh, the pressure that your blood goes through your veins? Something like that. That's part of it. But to really understand, you have to look at the way blood pressure is measured. When you first have the pressure um, and you crank the blood pressure cuff really high, there's no flow. You actually stop the flow going into the artery. You release the pressure and the minute there's flow, you can hear a noise and that's called the systolic blood pressure. That first blast tells doctors how powerful the force of blood can be inside your blood vessels, how high your blood pressure can get. That's the top number. Doctors also like to get another reading of the force of blood between heartbeats when the heart is at rest. That's the bottom number. Then the blood flow sound goes away. That's the diastolic blood pressure. So that's the lowest blood pressure that's in the blood vessels. Okay, but why do you need to know both numbers? According to Dr. Chin, both need to be treated if they're running high for different reasons reasons. But the upper number is much more prone to environmental influences. When you get stressed or when you get scared, your blood pressure, the systolic blood pressure is the one that goes up. Doctors have discovered that as we age, our systolic blood pressure naturally tends to rise. Uh, when it's high, we do know that that's associated with increases in, in cardiac event rates. So if you're tempted to dismiss a couple of high readings due to stress or being nervous around your doctor, think again. Most Americans with high blood pressure have trouble with a systolic number, which can be linked to excessive worry or drinking too much alcohol or eating too much salt. What we're interested in doing is getting an idea of what your average systolic blood pressure is, and many, of those, many patients don't realize that that's high and that that needs to be treated. By contrast, diastolic blood pressure, the lower number, tends to drop as we age. But many Americans still have high diastolic blood pressure, which is also dangerous, carrying with it the same health risks. Something that should be kept an eye on. High blood pressure weakens the walls of the blood vessels over time, similar to the way ocean waves change the contour of a beach. Walk out here on any given day, and you won't see much erosion happening, but over time, the landscape changes dramatically because there's a buildup of a plaque inside the artery. These are one of the things that happen with high blood pressure that's not well controlled, is that leads to this kind of buildup. Dr. Chin sees evidence of the toll high blood pressure takes on people's blood vessels, making them stiffer and more prone to plaque buildup. He also sees what it does to their hearts. Over time, it gets bigger, flabbier, and weaker because of the constant strain of the blood pressure. It's a major problem in this country. Right now, doctors estimate 50 to 60 million Americans are walking around with high blood pressure, and about half of them don't even know it. I had open heart surgery four years ago, so that's when I found out I had high blood pressure. The key is knowing the target range. Your blood pressure today is 140 over 85. How, what's that? That is over the recommended range for an average person. In the warning range, doctors call pre-hypertensive. Your goal should be to get a reading of 119 over 79 or below and avoid pre-hypertension altogether. Today, it wasn't that good. I don't feel it. No. And like, this is the first time I've heard that I had high blood pressure. While one high reading may not be a sign that you're headed for cardiac disaster, well, hopefully uh, you're making me just a little bit excited here. <laughs> if you get a high reading, test yourself often looking for patterns. If those numbers remain high, you may need medication to bring them back down if diet and exercise alone don't produce enough change. I always talk to my patients about lifestyle changes as the first thing to do. I exercise and I try to eat good and try to take care of myself overall. I go to the doctor regularly, eat healthy foods, vegetables, fruit. I go to the gym and eat a salad. <laughs>
That's what I try to do, actually, and it works, I guess. Take this advice, and your numbers will drop. Blood pressure is excellent today. It's 105 <laughs> over 70. It's still great. It's excellent, so hopefully it'll stay that way. It doesn't hurt to check your blood pressure often. And if you're interested in a nutrition program that's designed to lower your blood pressure, visit SutterHealth.org.